he calls himself a consistent conservative, but establishment Republicans worried that a Kobach win would cost them the Senate in November. Emily Rittman is live at Kobach headquarters in Leavenworth, a devastating loss for Kobach tonight. Emily? Absolutely. There was a sense of a lot of quietness. Everybody seemed pretty down here in this crowd tonight. And Chris Kobach is still in this room, still talking with those supporters who are still kind of grappling with the fact that the race had the outcome that it did. Now, Kobach took the podium not long ago, and he said that he wanted to give Rep. Roger Marshall a call and tell him that he wanted to congratulate him and that he had, quote, won the fight. Earlier tonight, though, Kobach was hopeful. He thought this was going to be a tight, close race right until the very end. But then he said as they drilled down on those numbers, as the precincts came in, it became clear that the margin was just too wide. Kobach talked with us just moments ago, and he told us that no matter the outcome, now is the time for Republicans to unite because they want to retain this deep red Senate seat. They do not want it in play for Democrats. Republicans haven't lost a Senate contest in Kansas since 1932. Earlier tonight, we asked Kobach what he thought of the more than 10 million spent by groups outside of Kansas on this race and the lack of an endorsement from President Trump. But here's what he had to say when he took to the podium. We were outspent three to one and some markets outspent eight to one. And against that kind of uh, money, it's, it's really tough. But our team soldiered on and uh, then, we, then we saw the withering attack ads come in, $3 million worth of attack ads. Um, false ads. And that was, uh, that was a storm that uh, did its damage, obviously. And he did say this was one of the most difficult, most aggressive races of his political career. And as we've been here at this watch party, of course, we are still in the middle of a COVID-19 pandemic. And one thing we saw very little of tonight were masks. And so we asked Kobach and he said he had his mask right there in his suit pocket, that even though his voice may sound hoarse, that he had been tested and did not test positive for COVID-19. He told people that were coming to attend this watch party that they could choose on their own whether they wanted to wear a mask or not. Reporting live, Emily Rittman, KCTV5 News. Thanks.